HMS Kent flexed her muscles after the summer break by firing up most of her weapon systems, including the rare launch of a torpedo. To prepare herself for frontline duties later this autumn, the Portsmouth-based frigate sent high explosive shells hurtling out of the main 4.5 inches gun to calibrate muzzle velocity, they should burst out of the barrel at more than twice the speed of sound. Test-fired machine guns both on the ship and her Pacific 24 sea boats, streamed out her sonar 2087 towed array, a 1,700-meter, tail, lined with hydrophones and Kent's best ears when hunting submarines, and firing off a stingray, one of two weapons she uses to take out those underwater threats. Citing from Royal Navy website, Stingray is principally launched by a Merlin Mk-2, which can also drop depth charges to deal with hostile submarines. Ideally the combination of Sonar 2087 and Stingray armed Merlin should keep underwater threats at bay, well out of range of striking distance of HMS Kent. But if not the ship carries horizontal launchers, just forward of the Portsmouth frigate's hangar, which use high pressure to propel Stingray out of its tube, before the small drogue parachute deploys to slow its entry into the water. Thereafter, the torpedo, packing a 100 pounds explosive charge to ruin any submariner's day, races through the water at more than 50 miles per hour until it strikes its target. In this instance the explosive charge was replaced by concrete in a training variant of the torpedo, which was recovered at the end of its run. Kent's commanding officer Commander Jez Bredel was delighted with the short but intensive workout for his team. Ensuring the peak performance of the ship's weapons and sensors is of paramount importance, he said. The trials period was highly successful as it also ensured our new flight integrated properly as part of the Kent team.